One of the most basic aspects to colour correction is getting white balance correct, and in this video I'll show you the tools that Final Cut gives you to correct it if you or the camera get it wrong. You can shoot on auto white balance, which lets the camera decide, and that's what I've done here, or you can choose to manually set it to something like daylight, or cloudy, or tungsten. If you don't get it right, or the camera doesn't get it right, then you can get some weird results like this, or like this. To fix white balance that's incorrect, start by option clicking on the clip where you want to correct it, and head to this little enhancements menu with the magic wand. You can then choose balance colour. There's a shortcut there as well, command option B. It's chosen to balance using an automatic method, meaning that it looks over the whole shot, or specifically just this frame of the current shot, and corrects based on that. Now, this shot doesn't vary much throughout its length, but if a shot was to vary substantially throughout its length, and you want to use the automatic correction, it's best to analyse this clip first. I've right-clicked and chosen Analyse and Fix here, and if you choose to analyse for balance colour, and then press OK, it'll do a very quick process, look through the clip, and next time you apply balance colour, it'll actually look at the whole clip. Now in this case, it's pretty much the same all the way through, but if you do want to use auto white balance, it's not a bad technique. Auto white balance can really help with shots where the camera's got it badly wrong, like this. And if I just apply it with the shortcut, you'll see that it's much improved. Not perfect, but a lot better than it was. Now, sometimes uh, you'll see that auto white balance will get it wrong. So for this shot, for example, it's kind of washing things out. And for this shot, it again has got a result that I didn't quite like. This version of Final Cut, though, introduces a new balance color method. Instead of automatic, I can choose white balance. And now I follow the instructions. To set the white balance, click or drag over an area that should be pure white. And if you don't have pure white, you can use a grey instead. If I click and drag there, then I can auto white balance using that as white. And this gives you the opportunity to correct mistakes. Now I could choose green and you'll see that the image is going to be tinted a bit differently. I could choose yellow and it's going to compensate by making everything a bit blue. I could go the opposite and blue and everything will look a bit yellow. But this manual control is what you can use when Final Cut on its auto settings or your camera on its auto settings got it wrong. And it's a very useful addition. To exit this eyedropper mode, just click the eyedropper there and now the white balance has been applied. You can see that it's made a useful difference to this shot. Next, I'll show you a way to make one shot look like another.